Hello everyone. In this video, what we're going to focus on is substitution. So we're going to focus on solving some questions, some fast paper questions. Right? Um, if you are new to this channel, please remember to like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. Alright? Now let's the fast paper questions that we're going to look on range from January 2009 to 2010. Alright? Now the first one says, if a asterisk b equal a squared minus b, evaluate evaluate five asterisk two. So what we know, we know that a asterisk b is equal to a squared minus b, and they want us to evaluate five asterisk. Two. So in this case, your 5, A is actually equal to 5, and B is actually equal to 2. So therefore, this is going to be 5 squared minus 2. What is 5 squared? 5 squared is 25 minus 2. 25 minus 2 is equal to 23. So therefore, 5 asterisk 2 is equal to 23 right let's look at the second problem given that a equals 6 b equal negative 4 c equal 8 calculate the value of a squared plus b all divided by c minus b right so you know we want to evaluate a squared plus b all divided by c minus b but what is a a is 6 so replace a with 6 so that's going to be 6 squared plus b what is b b is minus 4 so that is minus 4 all divided by c what is c c is 8 so that is 8 minus b and b is minus 4 All right so now 6 squares means 6 times 6 so that gives you 36 positive times negative going to be minus so that's going to be minus 4 all over negative times negative going to be plus so this is going to be 8 plus 4 36 minus 4, that leaves us with 32 all over. 8 plus 4, that leaves us with 12. And you can reduce this fraction, right? Now, we know that 4 into 12 goes 3 times. And 4 into 32 goes 8 times. So our final answer is 8 over 3, right? Now, let's look at the third question. Given that A equal negative 1, B equal 2, C equal negative 3, calculate the value of A plus B plus C and part B, B squared minus C squared. So we know what is a a is negative one so it's going to be negative one plus b b is positive two plus c and c is negative three and it's always good to put a bracket to show your substitution so in other words what we have here we have negative one plus positive 2. So negative 1 plus positive 2 gives us positive 1. So that's just 1 here. Plus this negative 3 here. Right? Now 1 plus negative 3 
is the same thing as 1 minus 3, right? So 1 minus 3, that gives us a final answer of negative 2. When the signs are different, you subtract and keep the sign of the larger number, right? Now to part B, we need B squared. B is equal to 2, so replace this B with 2, so that's going to be 2 in bracket all squared minus c c here is minus three so that's going to be minus three all squared so what is two squared two squared mean two times two so two squared mean two times two so two times two that is four so that's going to be four minus negative three squared means negative three times negative three so negative three times negative three equal a positive nine right so 4 minus 9, the signs are different, subtract and keep the sign of the larger number. So we know our answer is going to be a negative result. So it's going to be 4 minus 9, that's negative 5. Alright, question 4. The binary operation is defined by A asterisk B equal a plus b all squared minus 2ab calculate the value of 3 asterisk 4 what we know we know that a asterisk b is equal to a plus b all squared minus 2a B, right? And they ask us to calculate the value of 3 asterisk 4. What this means is that A is equal to 3 and B is equal to 4. So anywhere you see A in this part of the equation, you're going to replace it with 3. Anywhere you see B, it means that you must replace it with 4. And then you just calculate. So therefore, 3 asterisk 4 is equal to 3 plus 4 all squared minus 2 times A, which is 3, so times 3 times B, which is 4. Alright? Now, you can combine what's inside of the bracket. So, 3 plus 4, that is 7, so that's 7 squared minus 2 times 3, that is 6, 6 times 4, that's 24, so that's minus 24 there, which is equal to 7 squared means 7 times 7, so 7 times 7, that is 49 minus 24, right? 49 minus 24, that is equal to 25. Therefore, 3 asterisk 4 is equal to 25. Alright? Now to number 5. Given that A equal 4, B equal 2, and C equal negative 1, find the value of A minus B plus C. So what is A? A is 4. So we are going to replace A with 4. So that's going to be 4 minus B. What is B? B is 2. So that's minus 2 plus C. What is C? C is negative 1. 4 minus 2, that gives us 2, plus negative 1. 2 plus negative 1 is the same thing as 2 minus 1, which is just 1. For this one, we're asked to find the value of 2a raised to the b power. So this is going to be 2 times... A, what is A? A is 4 raised to the B power. What is B? B is 2. 
So, 4 raised, 4 squared is 60. So, this is going to be 2 times 60. And 2 times 16 is 32. Alright. Now, on to our final question. Given that a asterisk b means the square root of a plus 4b where the positive root is taken determine the value of 1 asterisk 2 so we know that a asterisk b is equal to the square root of a plus 4b. That means they want us to evaluate 1 asterisk 2. So that means 1 asterisk 2 is equal to the square root. 1 here is equal to a. So a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2. So where you see a replace it with 1, so it's going to be 1 plus 4 times b, which is 2 which is equal to the square root 4 twos is 8 plus 1 that's 9 so the square root of 9 which is equal to 3 so therefore 1 asterisk 2 is equal to 3 now part ii of the question says determine whether the operation denoted by asterisk is communicative justify your answer Alright, one thing that we know about commutative, right? You know that multiplication is commutative. So that means if you have a times b, that is equal to b times a. And what I mean by this, the other does not matter. For example, if you have 5 times 2, that is equal to 2 times 5. Because 5 times 2 is just 10. And 2 times 5 is still 10. So, if the operation denoted by, uh, by asterisk is commutative, it means that the other should not matter. So, here we found 1 asterisk 2 to equal to 3. That means if we reverse it and find 2 asterisk 1, if it is Communitative, we should get 3. If it is not communitative, we should not get 3. So if we find what 2 asterisk 1 equal to, that is equal to the square root of a. But what is a in this case? a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 1 in this case. So it's going to be 2 plus 4 times b, which is 1. And... 4 times 1, that's 4, plus 2, that's 6, which is the root of 6. So here, therefore, 2 asterisk 1 is equal to, to root 6 and not 3. You can therefore say, since 1 asterisk, 2 equals 3 and 2 asterisk 1 equals root 6. Therefore, the operation denoted by this, the star asterisk, is not alright so that is how you would solve this and justify your answer so we know so in this case the order should not matter if it is communicative if we switch around the order we should get the same result. We switch around the other and we get two different results. So we say since one asterisk 
2 is equal to 3, and 2 asterisk 1 is equal to root 6. Therefore, the operation denoted by asterisk is not commutative. All right. Thank you for watching, and I hope that this would have helped you in more ways than one. Do enjoy the rest of your day. Thank <laughs> you.